a beautiful city and a brilliant people rising from this abyss. And in their struggles to be truly free, in their triumphs and defeats throughout long years to come, I see a woman with a child upon her bosom who bears my name. I see that I hold a sanctuary in her heart and in the hearts of her descendants generations hence. I see her and her husband and I know that each is not more honored and held sacred in the other's soul than I am in the souls of both. I see them bring a boy of my name. <laughs> and I see them bring a boy of my name to this place. And I hear them tell the child my story. It is a far, far better thing that I do than I have ever done. It is a far, far better rest that I go to than I have ever known. Shadows of things that must be. Are they just the shadows of things that may be? Hey, Mr. Ford, yes. how come you let Ortiz here write that dumb story into a play? Dumb story? Man, you a mark in the dark. It's a great story. And Sidney Carton trades places with his rival, and he dies for him on the guillotine. That's what I'm saying. Some dude gets his head chopped off because another dude stole his old lady. That's dumb to me. Calvin, there are some people, if they don't know, you can't tell them. You said it, baby. <laughs> that tell two cities ain't about this city, that's for sure. Well, yes, it is. And what about last week, that man that ran into a burning building to save somebody else's baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, Ortiz. Next time old man starts punching me out, you can come over and take my place. Ooh. Hey, better than that, I'll come on over and I'll take his place. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody's responsible for their own wardrobe. I'm having a break. Marina's waiting for you outside, man. Her family's all set to go, and she's got to go, too. Oh, no. Hey, just stop her, man. Tell her to wait. I'll be right out. Uh, by the way, you did a good job. Oye, que se vayan. See, all right, have a kettle job. I'm leaving. You and that woman of yours, what are you bothering to get dressed for? <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Well, it's not so bad, Marina. Hey, at least we love each other. Hey, did your father come tonight? He's inside with my brothers. Well, let me meet them. No, Anil. Don't be afraid. I'll be polite. I'll even be quiet. They'll like me so much. They'll beg me to marry you. It's no use. I have, I have to do it. I don't believe in that. Neither do you. I don't know what else to do. Well, your family will like me. I'll make them like me. You watch. I don't know. Mama. Mr. Sariyang, where did you go? Where did you go? Come on, I want you to meet somebody. Okay. And Ma, this is Mr. Forrest. Well, he directed the play. And he's the best teacher I ever had in English this year. Oh, he's the person who's the best teacher I ever had in English this year. Oh, he's the best teacher I ever had in English this year. Oh, he's the best teacher I ever had in English this he talks all the time about you, Mr. Forrest. <laughs> and this is Karen. She did the costumes. And this is Mr. Forrest. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you do? Just that in the audience. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Excuse us, please. You should be very up. Well, hello. Did you like the play? It was all right. I liked the part where they chopped off the heads. Ka-chunk, ka-chunk. Anil wasn't just in the play. He wrote it, too. 
<laughs> really, I just, uh, I just told it from a novel. I seen your name in the program, Angel. That's what I call my girl. It's not Angel. It's Angel. Let's go, Marina. I don't like you being in this neighborhood after dark. You kidding, Pop? You don't like her being in this neighborhood, period. I don't see why they have to bust you halfway across town when you got a perfectly good school five blocks away. Pop. They don't have to bust you in, do they? No, I live around here. Live around here? Come on. Only Spicks and niggers live around here. <laughs> uh, Marina. I have to get my coat. Meet you outside. Anil, oh, no. I'm sorry. At the factory where my father works, he's sure he missed out on a big promotion. Because he's white. So? I'm white. Not according to him. Ya comprendo. Now you see why I can't have... I can't. If my father found out... How much is it, do you know? I asked around. 350. 350? Well, you sure you want to? Yeah, well, then I'll get the money. How? You can't tell anyone. No one. Don't, Promise. Don't worry. Hey, Mr. Forrest? Mr. Forrest? Yeah? Hey, can I talk to you for just a minute? Do you mind, honey? It'll only be a minute. If it'll only be a minute, I don't That's mind. That's all I promise. What's up, Star? If I need some money, and I have nowhere to get it except to borrow from someone who I know would be a soft touch, and I hope won't ask too many questions... You're broke. New jacket, huh? Yeah, I'll pay you back, I promise. After school, I work at the bodega. I work extra weekends all summer. I'll get a second job. Drop out of school hey. if I have to. Anil, I don't ever want to hear you say that. How much do you need? 20? 30? More? Much more. 350. What? It's too much, I know. I, I don't blame Hold on, hold on. I'm not saying no, but I don't have that kind of money. I can help you get it, but I would have to know what it's for. Look, whatever trouble you're in, you can trust me. I hope you know that. Yeah, sure. For a grown-up, I trust you lots. But I promised. Are you going to be much longer, sweetie? They don't have reservations at the elbow room forever. Well, I'm holding you up. I'm no, sorry. No, Angel, wait a second. Angel. Angel. Let me tell Mr. Forrest. No, Anhill. Please. He's a good friend to me. He'll know what to do. He's also a teacher. He'd have to tell my father even if he didn't want to. At least let's talk about it. Tomorrow. No, tonight. Well, can you get away? I think so. After they're asleep. Midnight. Later. About one o'clock at the stadium. Oh my God. Once in your life, I wanted you to have something real gold. You deserve it.
้นเห็นอันเห็นมาบีนะมารีนาอันเอลมารีนา You were expecting someone else? You raped my sister. No, but you've been sleeping with her. We know that. Are you saying my sister is a whore? No. What are you saying? No. <sighs> what? We love each other. How could she love you? You're a spick, aren't you? <gasps> aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, whatever you say. Don't be smart, Jose. Mi nombre es Angel. No, Jose. Whatever you say, Jose. I like your jacket. Gracias. Don't you understand English? I said I like your jacket. I like his sweater. <laughs> you heard the senorita? Want this? It's been next to his skin. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Let's break his legs. <laughs> Walt, we're Americans. We always give foreigners a fair chance. After what he did to Marina, Walt, remember the other night? We gave that other Jose a chance to run. Yeah, that was fun. Catching up to him. Beating the crap out of him, watching him bleed. Fair's fair. This Jose deserves the same chance, equal opportunity. Okay. You got 15 seconds. Wait. I'll take the boots. <laughs> Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, What is it? My pills, please. Uh, pills? They're downstairs. 
Oh, ja. Hey, Deb, did you see that? What? That door. It just opened and closed. That's where he is. Student actor, you heard my voice and you cry out. You imitate me. Stop. I'm sending him out. No. Not like that. They heard him. The whole world heard him. No, don't! Stop! Son. 